Hi, I'm Marcy Dagman, the Aspiring Gardener, and today we're going to talk about ideas for weed control in gardens. Now, as you can see, I'm in kind of a barren area here where there's actually a lot of weeds I can show you. Um, what you want to learn about weeds is whether they're annual or perennial weeds. You don't have to know what their names are, but you do need to know their characteristics in order to get ahead of them. If you don't want to use a lot of chemicals, you're going to have to do a lot of weed pulling and digging. But if you do it right and you do it diligently, in a two or three year period, you're going to have far less weeds. As you can see here, I have a perennial weed. This is a plantain. The reason you need to dig perennial weeds is because they have a lot more fleshy roots. Some like dandelions have really long tap roots. If you don't get the whole root, that little piece of root will turn into another weed. So with that, with perennial weeds, you have to dig them, plus you have to get them before the flower develops and throw seed all over the place. Now, plantains get kind of a little spadex type seed head, but this one is not seeding right now, so I can get it while it's rooted and not seeded, and that'll get rid of a lot of plants in the future. Now, an annual weed, usually doesn't come back from the root, but what it does is it comes back from this little seed head. So you can kind of see where there's a whole bunch of seed right now. Now normally if I was on top of this, I would have wanted to get this weed pulled before it developed seeds. So that's the first key, is get the plants early. So what you want to do this time of year is get every weed you can find out of your garden in the fall. And in the spring when all the weeds come up, go out, get them before they develop seed. Now usually that's right after they flower, so once you see a flower developing, get that weed. Do it every time you see one, every time you walk past, and be really diligent, and it will make a huge difference. The other thing you can do is you can make the area less comfortable for weeds. You can use leaf mulch, shredded leaf mulch, you can use compost. Here I have a lot of pine needles that have just fallen from the trees that have developed kind of a loose mulch on its own. And what happens with that is that when you have nice loose medium, you can easily pull the roots without even having to dig. So that's really helpful. Here's a little maple tree seedling that I was able to pull up without even using my shovel. So by mulching, by keeping the soil loose, you're going to be able to pull those weeds. Now, yes, it'll encourage them to grow, but you'll be able to pull them out really good. So there's some ideas for weed control in the garden.